This is the Real Christian Manliness Podcast with Isaac and Tim Ingram. Let's get manly. All right, folks, welcome to the Real Christian Manliness Podcast. It's a podcast by Christian men, of Christian men, and for, you guessed it, Christian men. My name's Isaac Ingram, and I've got with me my younger brother. Oh, is that my cue? Yeah, that's your cue. This is the first one. I need to uh, get used to things. So, yeah, I am his younger brother. My name is Timothy, and uh, I am the better-looking brother. According to none. So... Let's go ahead and give you a little bit of background. We are brothers. I am about two and a half years older than Tim. Depending on when you listen to this, we'll be different ages, so I just thought I'd show the difference. Um, I like to listen to podcasts and audiobooks and all sorts of audio media whenever I'm running and driving and doing all kinds of stuff, but I came across a problem I was listening to a lot of things, and some things weren't quite Christian. They were middle of the road, and some things maybe a little off color, and I decided I need to find more Christian, more clean stuff to put in my ears while I'm doing other things. And I began to look around, and I found a lot of Christian stuff, but it was all preaching-type things, and it wasn't for, you know, just maybe entertainment or guys sitting around talking or anything like that uh, directed towards men. So I decided why not start a podcast for Christian men? You know, you see a need and you fill it, right? So, hey, Tim, whenever I say right or something like that, that's another cue for you just to give me a break and say something. I I thought that was, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A rhetorical right. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a, that sounds like a new political affiliation. We're the rhetorical right. <laughs> We're not alt-right. We're rhetorical right. The, the, the alt-rhetorical right. So, Okay, lesson learned. There we go. So you'll learn about us as we learn how to podcast. Now, um, Tim, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I know a lot about you, but tell the people that are listening. Well... Um, as of today in June, 2017, I am 31 years old. Uh, I'm not going to tell you my weight, but I'm working on it. Uh, <laughs> I am, I am single and I'm interested in politics and Christian subjects and Bible. And, uh, so whenever Isaac asked me to get on a podcast, I've always wanted to be on a podcast. So I said, sure, why not? Plus he decided to move halfway across the world So it gives us a chance to talk to each other every once in a while uh, on recording. So that's a little bit about me. Anything else you want me to say? Uh, I think that's a good background. My background is, and our background is, we are sons of missionaries to Eastern Europe and the gypsies in, in Romania and pretty much just Romania. And so we grew up over there from, I guess it was about 92 that we moved over there, the spring of 92. Yeah, uh, That was about two or three years after the fall of the communist regime. And um, so things were pretty interesting over there. But that's where we grew up, and my dad started working with, with gypsies, and uh, they were pretty outcast and things like that. And so I grew up there, he grew up there, until we both... Well, you came back after, or before you graduated high school. I came back shortly before... No, I got that wrong. I went back right after I graduated high school. He came back in his junior year. Was that what it was? Yeah, pretty much. Somewhere around there. <laughs> so we've been in the States since uh, since that time, working and going to school and... Just, you know, serving in church and singing and, you know, trying to stay out as much trouble as possible. Um, Back in 2009, I enlisted into the Marine Corps, into the reserves, and so I went to boot camp in October of 2009. Then I was in an artillery unit in Fort Worth, and I got the opportunity to deploy in 2011 
and I was over there for most of that time. And so right now, I'm just about to fall off my inactive reserve contract in the Marines. And um, so that's about it. I'm married, so that's kind of a big deal. That's, so I really didn't give you the whole story. I'm married. I got a kid on the way. We don't know whether it's going to be a boy or a girl, but... Our offspring is due to be born July 26th of this year. So what, what interests you, Tim, in podcasting? Why, why is it interesting to you? I mean, as far as listening or as far as producing? Either way. Or, I maybe, mean, maybe both sides. As far as listening to podcasts, there's so much information out there that you can, you can glean from it. And I mean, I don't, I don't like to be, and I, I frown on people who become a part of their own little eco chamber. I like to get out and listen and hear different opinions from different people that I might not agree with uh, and also from people that I do agree with to enforce what I believe. And uh, also it kills dead time sometimes. <laughs> and and <laughs> there's, there's, there's just so many good things about it. And you, it's, it's like a DVR on the TV. You can plug it in and listen to it whenever you want to, whenever you're busy. If you're at work, if you're running, if you're driving in the car this morning, when I was driving to work earlier in the morning, I plugged in a podcast and listened to about 30 minutes of a two-hour podcast that I got to go back to and listen to. So there's convenience on it. It's not like radio where you have to be listening to it live. So there, there's just so many upsides to it. And and as far as making podcasts, it's it, it, it'd be it'll be nice to interview people and and hopefully be a blessing and encouragement to people out there that are listening yeah. to it. And it. It is a time filler, but I think it's profitable because if you listen to the right things, you can hear different perspectives or, or reinforce um, perspectives that you already have or maybe see things from different uh, different points of view. Like even today, I was interviewing a gentleman. He's a pastor. And, you know, you hear the same... Um, different you you hear the same story but from a different person and it kind of spotlights a different aspect of it you know you use you use different metaphors and different euphemisms for things but one person will kind of spotlight a different aspect of it that you never really thought of before and that happened to me today uh talking on on an interview with with this pastor and it was it was a lot of fun just seeing things from a different perspective same thing, just a different perspective. Yeah, I'm excited to hear that one. I yeah. I know who I know who he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and by the time this podcast is is released, you'll know the lineup for the first few weeks of our podcast. So um, we haven't ironed out at the time of this recording exactly who's going to be when, but we do know who. So, and another thing is that they're free. <laughs> you know, if it's free, it's for me. <laughs> yep. And so I started before podcasting listening to audiobooks. I would I would listen to um Dave Ramsey's audiobook. I've listened to a couple of his and Malcolm Gladwell and just different guys and but the thing is you can you got 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 hours worth of audio but then you have to buy another $15 or $20 audiobook and you know <laughs> Tim, <laughs> sorry, I, uh, I, for, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that uh, you could see me. <laughs> so, so you're listening out there. Tim and I are on Facetime talking to each other, and we're recording our own separate audios. And I'm looking at Tim, and <laughs> it look it looks like you're trying to look through your microphone, or <laughs> it's not a I periscope. Mean, <laughs> there's a light coming out, and I was just kind of looking into it. I don't. I guess what you were saying was really boring. <laughs> Maybe it was. I it's it's very possible. So, this is if you don't like our banter then you probably won't like our podcast. So, you may want to listen to the interviews cuz those are pretty interesting. But but we're excited about this podcast and on the launch of the podcast we'll have a we'll have several different episodes for you to listen to and uh, hopefully we can stay in touch with each other through our Facebook page, The Real Manliness Podcast, and um, we'll have information up there about episodes, and if you have any ideas or any thoughts or any questions.
questions or concerns, things that you want to be addressed on the podcast, feel free to message us there. Um, and if you enjoy it, you know, like the page, share the page with your friends, and, you know, let people out there know, because really all we want to do is to be an encouragement to equip and, and help, you know, single men, married men, single dads, you know, pastor, anybody that we can help and even entertain a little bit. Um, that's what we want to do. And so with that, do you have anything you want to add, Tim? I don't think so. I think we've pretty much introduced ourselves well and uh, hopefully given people a little taste of our back and forth style and what it's going to be like. And then hopefully we'll have a lot more meaty content whenever we actually delve into some topics and different discussions. So, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got to say for this first uh, episode. Well, with that, we'll let you go. Just make sure that you like and subscribe to the podcast and and if you liked it, go ahead and give us a five-star rating. If you didn't like it, feel free to give us a one, two, three, or four-star, whatever. Um, it just Leave us reviews, reviews and all that stuff. That way we can know how to improve because, like I said, this is our first real attempt at a podcast. We've listened to them, but it's a whole different story doing them. So uh, leave us any type of rating, um, and we will take that to heart and try to improve. So with that, thank you for listening, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.